I remember the first time that I met you was on your visit. And I remember thinking, yo, <laughs> this kid can really, really help us because you're a different kind of big that we had seen before. You were very agile. Uh, you were quick on your feet. Uh, fast in transition you ran like a deer you were already strong uh, I think you were 17 years old when you came on your visit and mm -hmm. I was just like yo we need to get this guy to Jay's jersey for sure because I thought that you could really really help our team especially I was looking in the front court with uh, Will Artino was retreating that year but we had Gregory Echenique and um, Kenny Lawson was about to be a senior so I thought that you could really solidify our front court talk to me about your visit what you remember uh, just scrimmaging with us and obviously like give me some of the reasons why you chose to go to Crane in the first place. Bro, what, what sold me was the, what was then called the Quest Center. They showed me Hell the Quest yeah. <laughs> That's all I need to see. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, Coach McDermott is really a, the selling factor that got me. I mean, he put me in his office, told me, you know, what kind of role I could have, that kind of stuff. And Obviously, in my first couple of years, it didn't pan out with, you know, a bunch of injuries and stuff. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, playing for a coach like Coach McDermott was, you know, great opportunity. I, I couldn't turn it down. That's one of the things I want to talk to you about for sure. Uh, you committed to Creighton. When I saw you, obviously, in your visit and then preseason, our offseason workouts, preseason workouts, you look so good. We get to around two a days, and this is when the injuries start to kind of pile up and start to hold you back. Uh, you had the decision with the coaching staff to redshirt, uh, which kind of seems like a trend for some of the bigs at Crane for whatever reason yeah, that first yeah. year. Like, you guys really need that first year to get your feet under you. But yours really was a, uh, mainly because of injuries. Talk to me about some of what those injuries were and what held you back from performing how you wanted to in your first couple of years. Yeah, man. Uh, the main injury was uh, my Achilles. I had some calcium deposits that were causing inflammation and just all kinds of mobility issues. And uh, ended up getting surgery on them. It took, I think, like you know, two years before I got the surgery and then another year after that before, you know, I got 100% and then went out to P3 and they got me right with some stretching regimen and some exercises that, you know, increased the mobility of my ankles and that stuff, you know, really, really helped in the end. But I remember, I remember one summer when you were getting your Achilles surgeries, like, obviously it's not a laughing matter. I fell for you, but bro, this was just so funny. You had two boots, you had two Achilles boots at once. Bro, and you used to try and play it off like they were just regular shoes. I'm like, bro, you can't just put your jeans over top of two boots and walk around campus like it's all good. Bro, bro I went to the bars like that, man. <laughs> I remember one time okay, we went, we went to Whiskey Tango. Market. Yeah. Bro, we were at uh, Billy Frogs, man. Man, that's Billy hilarious. Frogs. Hag, the two boots on, man. <laughs> bro, that is so funny because I remember like being like, Jeff, like, are you sure you're trying to step out with us? You're just like, yeah, man, I could do it. Just as long as I get there, I just have to sit down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> that is hilarious, man. All right, so you have all these injuries. Obviously, I know you want to contribute right away. Like I said, you decided to redshirt. What was kind of going through your mind seeing our team? You know, th that was like some of our more successful teams too. I know you wanted to be a part of that success, but like the main thing that we needed you to do, we needed you to do was to get healthy. So talk about kind of the frustrations of having all these injuries always like setting you back. Well, it was more frustrating than like I can even explain, bro. Cause I like I would call my brother like crying some days, like, man, like. It's so miserable for me because I know I'm a better player than what I'm showing. I mean, I get up in the mornings and I can hardly walk. Like, I mean, how can I keep, you know, going on like this? And um, I even told uh, Z, I even told Isaiah Zierden, I was like, man, I think I'm going to retire, bro. Like, I, I can't keep doing this. And he said, uh, I'll never forget this conversation with him. He's like, man, you know, God has plans for you. Just like, 
just keep pushing, keep pushing. And, you know, I, I wouldn't be here today without that conversation with Z and those conversations with my brother, man. Like, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, I've had a hell of a career overseas, you know, ended up finishing out pretty decent at Creighton and, you know, mm -hmm. overseas made me a lot of money. So, 